Okay, part one, a druid had just killed me, and now I'm going to show you where the secret ninja village is, which is located right here on your map. You probably already know this if you're a rogue. Uh, I think um, Beetle already has been there because he's friendly with them and stuff, so. And there's a little zigzag pattern on your map up here on the upper right. If you can see that, I'll zoom in. It's kind of hidden, it's not shown on the map, so you have to kind of find this road, and then you start taking this zigzag. And one of the quests to be a rogue, you have to go through this cave right here. And all you have to do is just go past that chest and don't try and lock it or unlock it. Just leave it alone. So like, uh, used to have your tech traps was a skill, but I can't find it, so now it's probably... Yeah, there's no tech traps anymore. Wait. Yeah, it says right there, danger, do not open subtlety spec. There we go. It's a passive effect now, so it's already on. As long as you're stealth, it'll say if something's a trap. This is the only place in the game that this is even used that I've ever found. Unless there's something in Next Ramus or Outlands or somewhere I've never been. That's the only place this skill is ever used. I don't know why they have this skill. Detect traps. Or you can also see hunter traps and disarm them, but by the time you do that, they can lay another one. So it's pretty, pretty useless. Up here, this is called Ravenholt Manor. This is the secret ninja, like rogue place that you gotta go and there's a bunch of weird places like like over here there's a guy named Master Kang he's like an orc I don't know what he's like a priest or something I don't think there's even such a thing as orc priests he's like wearing a white robe and these guards here you have to turn in all these badges that you pickpocket off of Stromgard or whatever and that'll give you a reputation where you can talk yes. to them. And it's kind of like a bunch of broken can quests up here. You? you can't really do anything now. There's a guy named Wolf where it says your quest will continue. This guy right here. But you can't talk to him anymore. So help? The quest chain's kind of broken and never really finished it. And you go up here some more ninja leaders and stuff. And uh, over here's the guy where you get your. You can learn some skills off this guy if you've never seen him before. I think he sends you on some kind of a quest to pickpocket you. something or... Yeah, so you can learn these skills off this guy. It's part of the SI-17 from Stormwind. Secret Ninja Squad. Probably already know about all this. Nothing major. And over here on the left, you got a little tower which leads to nothing. I thought it went somewhere, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to base jump it. Woohoo! Shit. Now there's a place over here, when I was talking about the Ashbringer Sword, you see these orange trees in the background? There's a red tree behind this hill. One of the places they said you should fish, there used to be an item that drops like, called a uh, damp note or a soggy note or something like that. It was in a chest or something you fished up by this pond. It's supposed to have been something that Nat Pagel, the expert fisher guy, it left in this book. Or like, it's supposed to be the page missing out of Nat Pagel's expert fishing guide or something like that. There's a little pond up here, and you see all these red trees around it? It looks like there would have been something in the pond. And this guy right here, this undead apothecary, he wasn't here last time I was here. So why would Blizzard add this NPC just out of blue in this little pond up in the side of this hill? Basically, it's in nowhere. It's like... So the idea was that something in this pond had polluted it and made all these trees turn orange and red, so that's supposed to be a clue. But the Ashbringer has nothing to do with this anymore, so I don't know why they would have had this damp note come out of this pond. But just out of curiosity, since they added this apothecary, I decided to fish it just to see if anything crazy would come up. Fishing pole. And through the magic of video editing, I'll just cast my line, and magically a fish will appear! Ha <laughs> Okay, now we're in the hinterlands. I got uh, over here, this is Skolomance, this is where the green dragon spawns, here's where the elites are. None of his map is revealed yet. Over here is the little uh, horde camp. I'm gonna go over here where the green dragon is supposed to be at. And this is like a dragon that spawns every five days or something, every seven days. Same time every week, he spawns. Now, these guys over here are like patrols, groups of three, two or three. They're level 60 or 62. Okay.
Okay, my audio is screwed up there for a second. Okay. Now up there on the steps is where the green dragon spawns, and there's another smaller green dragon. Yeah, it's the small one right now. Oh crap, I got a big green dragon spit. I'm already dead. That's how powerful these things are. They spit on you, all your life's gone, they spit on you again, and you're completely dead. At level 40. Now this guy up here, I'm pretty sure he's level 62. Dream Tracker. So, I think I'm out of range of those old ones. I thought I could ride up to him, but once you get on the fucking the rocks, your mount just disappears, so I'm screwed. But, since I'm up here, I might as well give it a shot just to see what I can do. Slice! Yar! Shit. Yeah, it didn't last very long against the old Dream Tracker dragon. And <laughs> the dragon that's supposed to be here, the big... I think it's Tarar, or they can be different dragons. He's like a ghost-looking green dragon, and he takes a whole party of 20 or 40 people to take him down. And i got to get out of here somewhere, because uh, there's all these patrols in level 40, in level 60 area. This is going to be hard. Yeah. Careful, careful. I think I'm in the clear. There's some guys over there. Immediately start going left. As soon as you see red, you have to start moving. Or you will be screwed. Alright, push them over there. A little to the left, a little to the right. And there's another big green dragon. What the hell? Okay, this is uh, Rothos. He is like a ninja dragon. When you're fighting the big green dragon, he'll come out of the blue and you have to, like, fight him off. And he'll, like, disappear and reappear and once you hit him so many times. Okay, this is the path through Airy Peak. This goes to Skolomance, the Western Plaguelands area. I'm going to show you the island of Skolomance since he's never been here and he used to discover it. Do, 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 ride my mount. Not my mount, but he calls mount. Right. Okay, now this place looks deserted. If you've never been here before, or if you've never done the Skullman's quest, a lot of people don't do the like five-man quest. They just skip it because it takes so much time. Like over here in these buildings, like right in here, there's a guy in this blacksmith shop. There's a blacksmith guy in there. You can't see them because they're dead. They're ghosts, but they're in there. Down this road, there'll be some guys riding some horses. You just can't see them. Like over in the other house, there's a baker. Like up there, okay, there's a 60 warlock or mage something up there, so I gotta head out. But there's some ghosts up there you can talk to, and then as you keep doing quests, you get more stuff and you can see more ghosts. Alright, this is on the back side of Skull Mass. This is where the gargoyle boss is at, and I used to fish this area right underneath there. Because I would think maybe this gargoyle would have dropped something cool in the water. And yeah, it really added a lot of this footage out. Now I'm back in. <laughs> when lights up chapel now and I just pissed off a ghost and I got a level 60 ghost chasing me I thought these NPCs would attack it but they're just letting it go ah you can't catch me anyway let's see level 60s and I'm level 40 and he ran away dance time dance for the pallies dance 40 no rogues fuck yeah